conversation with one of the most iconic people to ever grace a holiday, the queen of Halloween, the mistress of the macabre. Ladies and gentlemen, it's my honor to present Cassandra Peterson, Elvira. We've got a lot of surprises to uh, reveal here today. Thanks for coming back. It's gonna be well worth your time here. We have Elvira, Mistress of the Darkness, Andrew Peterson right here. Okay, so Cassandra, you were a member of the Groundlings. I was. The comedy troupe, the amazing legendary yeah, comedy troupe. That's right, thank you. How did that training help you translate the character of Elvira from the TV screen to the stage at a place called Not Scary Farm. Woo! I don't know how it helped me to get nuts, but I suppose it did. Um, yeah, I don't think I, I would have definitely not be where I'm at if it hadn't been for all my background in the Groundlings, learning to improvise, which was very important for me because I can't remember lines. I can't. And so, you, you know that, I'm not so using teleprompter. Right? Um, anyway, yeah, so, uh, the comedy background at the Groundlings was absolutely, uh, you know, day where you're, I had to have had that. And I worked with some of the really greats, John Paragon, who played Ramon Azteca. Uh, does anybody remember Ramon? Yeah, and uh, The Breather also. And then uh, Pee Wee, Paul Rubens. And Phil Hartman. Um, and they, they uh, man, they were my models, and I just, I, I learned so much from them. They don't probably realize it, but uh, I did. Without them, I don't know what I'd do. But anyway, um, yeah, and then I, I got to Not Spirit Farm, and my very old dancing and singing uh, uh, background came into play, you know? I hadn't sung or danced for, since I'd been in Vegas, when I was like 17 or 18, and then, sang, you know, in Italy, in a band. Um, so that came in handy when we got out to Nuts. Not that I ever did it that great, but it was, it was fun and it made for a good show. Did she do great? Yeah, did. Yeah. So that segues into my next question was, uh, if I were a mistress of the dark, was already well on her way to becoming a cultural icon when you began talks to appear at Not Scary Farm back in 1982. Can you talk about what it was like putting that first show together? Like, just like, how do you get it to the stage? Well, it was extra hard because I wasn't born yet. And, uh, <laughs> uh, it was, yeah, you know, the first show, I was just like a dork and I'm there and I'm like, what do I do? And then Julie Owens, who was the choreographer then, um, <clears throat> kind of put it together. And uh, I didn't know what I was doing. I had no idea. All I remember is dancing around in a circle, singing Ghouls Just Wanna Have Fun, because that was like the big hit song out right then, you know, by Cindy Lauper. And um, yeah, the first show, I was I was kind of like, this is a mystery to me. I don't know what the hell I'm supposed to be doing out here. But uh, it worked out and led to a, a few more years, like a hundred. <laughs> <laughs> did, did you have any idea that the run would just take so many like seasons and just year after year, people would come back and back? I, it was my first Scary Farm, 1987. And I saw the, the Elvira show, I waited in line, I bought a poster, it was fantastic. Yeah, no, it was amazing. And you know, it's so funny. I mean, how many years did I end up being out there? On and off, 21, 22, uh, something. 35. 35, okay, we ended that's in, close. We ended in 2017. Oh my God. The funny thing is that I remember is like meeting fans um, who were little kids back then in my first, you know, couple of shows. And then seeing them later, they're adults, they have their little kids with them. And so and now I think it's getting to the grandchildren. I don't know, but that's scary. If I go out there again, it's going to be the great grandchildren. This is my daughter Elvira, her daughter Elvira, and her daughter Elvira. Yeah, that's that's what it's all about. Well, not Scary Farm and seeing the Elvira show was always a rite of passage. That's how you knew you were kind of an adult, was going to see it. Um, yeah, I, I think I helped a lot of kids through puberty. <laughs> <laughs> Show of hands. My name is Jeff, and I'm an Elvira holic. Yes. 
So we talked, we, we said in 2017, we put the last show together. Uh, I was really excited because I went from a guy who went and saw the show to I got to help put the show together. And that was like a huge thing. Like, what was it like in that final run? Is it, who saw the final run? Anybody? Like everybody? Like it just felt monumental. Yeah, it felt huge. And I, it was very bittersweet, you know. I love that we finally got to do like a little mini version of Elvira, Mr. of the Dark, you know. Um, it was kind of a little like the, like the, the movie, only, you know, pared down and made into a musical, which that's a fun thing to do. And uh, I had a blast doing it. I think it was, it's my favorite show anyway. I think it was the best show we did. We had fantastic people out at Knott's that um, helped with everything, like, there was Curly over here. And, and like um, all, the, all the designers, the choreographer, the costume people, the set, you know, the people that did the set, the dancers, the singers. I mean, it was an amazing show. I could never have done it on my own. So many, so many great talented people out there working on this. Um, what was the whole point I was talking about? <laughs> how great that last run was. Yeah, yeah. It You're was, right on track there. It's okay. great. It was just so fun. I, I had the best time, and it was really, it was very, uh, it made me really verklempt because I was leaving there. It was like my home, and I have so many friends out there that I've made for the last in a million years, and uh, so it was really tough leaving. I, you know, I, part of me wishes I hadn't, but part of me, like my bones, it says thank you. <laughs> <laughs> it just got hard to do, you know, two or three times a night. And, uh, I just didn't have the energy anymore. Yeah, those were Broadway, Las Vegas level shows. They were not they theme really park were. shows. By the end of the by the end of the run, I really believed that that show could have been taken like right to Vegas and performed. Then it was really good. The lighting, everything was super super professional. Stellar, top notch, uh, and those are just amazing memories of Mount Scary Farm. You said uh, ghouls just want to have fun. Any other fun titles you remember from the, any of those years? Oh, I think my favorite, honestly, was we did a circus theme, and it was called Elvira's Big Top. <laughs> I came up with that name. I must say, I'm going to give myself credit. Uh, but I, I think that was a really good name, don't you? It's a fantastic name. Anybody go see Elvira's Big Top? No! <laughs> okay, so... Uh, we have all these memories of, of Not Scary Farm, and I know it's weird we're talking about Not Scary Farm. Uh, this is a great chance to talk about some exclusive merchandise that's coming out at Not Scary Farm. Woo! So I'm going to bring out the very talented merchandise magician, Carl Bush, everybody. Where you go? He left. He got kind of ready. Carl. Carl, your balls are showing. Hi <laughs> guys. Hey, it's Carl Bush, everybody. You know it's very dangerous when I have a live mic in my hand. If anything can happen. I know. I'll cut you off. Don't worry. <laughs> yes, Jeff, you were going to ask me a question. Are there any exclusive items coming to Not Scary Farm? Are you out of your mind? Sorry, I'm screaming so loud. That's okay, my ears are already a deaf. <laughs> you know, yeah, we're deaf from there. the alarm anyway. What? I, Elvira's gonna, as you know, I mean, I'm crazy, but I'm also a very big collector. I know what you guys want. And when she said that she was gonna come back, I said, I'm gonna build a collection like no other collection. Come oh, back. Sorry. When you come to Not Scary Farm, she will have the biggest, she'll have a store he said, he said, full of, all, of your stuff. I am bring, bring money. Well, he said, come back. Anymore. <laughs> bring charge, bring your mama's charge card. Just steal it. Take it, bring your mama's charge card. High limit, please. And, but we're going to bring out a few things. Do we have a picture? We do. Okay, let me, let me try to see this here. Right here. Oh, nice. I, oh, I can see it now. Look at Oh, my yeah. God. Technology. Oh, what happened? Are we in Long Beach or is this... Uh... We're in the future. Wow, we are in the future. Okay, so this this shirt basically has all her 
posters while she was there. So this is one of the things that Cassandra could sign for you too, which would, which would bring up the value greatly. Next item. This is an exclusive. Her, her Cassandra's favorite coaster is Ghost Rider. Let's hear it for Ghost Rider. Come on, Ghost Rider. What's your favorite ride? Ghost Rider. Thank you, thank you. Sorry, even more popular than Ghost Rider. But anyway, no, just no, by right. and continue. So, and she will be able to sign this. There might be other items with this image on it that you can get. Will it be cheap? No. <laughs> yes, it will. Come on. I work for Knott's Berry Farm, for Christ's sake. Uh, you know, we started out, it was like a little nice talk show, and now it's freaking QVC. I, I, I work for HSN, not QVC, sorry. I know Suzanne Summers. Anyway. Not anymore. Not anymore. Oh. Too soon. Sorry. Wow, sorry. you're really hard. I thought it was a Halloween event. Anyway. <laughs> This is one of the most iconic images of Belle Barbers. It will be on a group of different merchandise, including maybe a pin. Oh, a sec. Keep going. Next. This is one of the most iconic things that she has. Because these are the things that you don't find anywhere. These are the things you can't get. So I built a collection around these sort of things that you can't get anywhere else. Next. Oh, now this is what we call her signature mug. So, sure, I could put a, a fake signature on it, but not. This will be a hand sign. Will it be cheap? No! But the thing is, that's all right. Why? I mean, stop. Keep going. We made a hot sauce. This is the hottest hot sauce for the hottest person on this planet. Oh, come on. Your tacos will now taste like. Well, anyway, let's go. Don't get me here. Don't. Why am I screaming? Anyway. Next. So, you're saying, well, you know, I'm not supposed to say anything about anything that comes at knots, but something might, something might arrive. I don't know where this came from. Take pictures of it. Post it. Post it. One of a kind. You like my ball eyeballs? <laughs> Let's put it this way. Eyeballs are going to be a really big thing this year. And not They're the future. Yes. <laughs> yes. Now, let's end with something big from Elvira. Nobody else knows this. <laughs> not even her agent. Well, yeah, he does. Anyway. She better. He does. He does everything. Bastard. Anyway, I, I kind of like you. Anyway, that's all right. So every week, a new Elvira pin based on her events, her, her shows. So seven pins will be launched, extremely limited. We're going to make only 600. And 66 pins. <laughs> so that means every week you need to get your ass in the not scary farm to pick up one of those things. And I know that sounds horrible as a pin person myself, but <laughs> they're they're limited. I of course I have all the markings on the back, all the good things. You know I know all this stuff. I made 50 pins last year for Christ's sake. <laughs> anyway, why am I swearing so much? Anyway. Um, <laughs> So, Carl, I just said I have one question for you. What did you drink before you came out here? <laughs> oh, I thought, does it go? Okay, that was like that. Anyway, uh, oh, don't turn on me. This is not Stanton. What are you doing, people? We do know Long Beach is called Stanton by the Sea, but that's a whole different thing. I, why do you make me say these things? <laughs> so, anyway, seven <laughs> pins. Uh, only 666 each. Um, so you've got to come in, and if you get the whole collection, you know what will happen? You'll have the whole collection! Uh. <laughs> and of course, everything.
everything else will be there. And it's, it, but there's two stores that will have the full Elvira collection. It's a gift from us to you. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you, Carl. Thank you, Tim. That was beautiful. That's a lot of merchandise. All right. Oh, yes. <laughs> so there's a lot of stuff to buy, obviously. Yeah. If you yeah. if you worship Elvira, Mistress of the Dark, and we all do. Right. You're better. But what if there was a way to have more, to experience more? We want more. Fire? We want more. more. But wait, there's more. I would like to please welcome Rob Perez and Jeff Shattuck from Not Scary Farm. Wow, you guys are here too. It's like getting the old crew back together. Awesome. We finally have enough for Family Feud. All right. <laughs> Happy fun, Not Family Feud. <laughs> How do we follow Carl, man? He, you're a sitcom waiting to happen. You need, just need to scream. If you want to follow Carl, just look for the empty yeah. cups oh, yeah. as you oh, yeah. go away. Scary farm, <laughs> scary farm, scary farm, scary farm, scary farm, scary farm, scary farm. Come on, Elvira, scary farm, scary farm, scary farm. Elvira, Elvira, Everybody scream. Scary farm. Never put them All right, on this is... I told you. This is Jeff Shattuck and Rob Perez. They've worked on the Elvira show for years and years and years. Okay. Just a few. Okay, doing the most brilliant. Uh, Let's uh, do it. That I had. You, seriously. <laughs> no, no. They, it, I couldn't have ever done my shows without these two, let me tell you. Uh, yeah. Let's Absolutely. do it. Okay. Let's hear it for him. Come on, Rob Perez. <laughs> Okay, come on, start you guys yelling. have a little more to, yeah, a little more to talk about. Let's do it. Well, we do have a little more. I mean, should um, we? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so, so, yeah, we've got, we've got some show that's uh, Knott's Berry Farm related and Elvira related. And, uh, yeah. Yeah. Let's just say it's, it's 2024. Gonna be, it's going to be enormous. Elvira is back. Yeah. Sorry, I lost it there for a second. <laughs> yeah! 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 So there you have it, the Not Scary Farm Yours Truly Elvira Experience. Okay. You're going to see the chronological history of Elv every Elvira show uh, performed throughout the history of, of her reign at Not Scary Farm. Yeah. Um, complete with uh, show highlights uh, on video on our large LED wall, which takes up the entire expanse of that stage. Uh, you'll see highlights from every single show, uh, every season that she performed, uh, including a midnight performance of the entirety of the very last show from 2017. Hello. It'd be like taking a trip down Navarre Lane. <laughs> You're also going to see, uh, we can go to the next uh, slide there. Uh, you're going to see uh, rare photos, factoids, uh, displays uh, throughout the entirety of the theater that uh, tell the chronological history of every show with some nice little behind the scenes uh, um, goodies. All right? Nice. All right. All of you have seen the Macabre Mobile in movies, on TV shows. We're going to have it on stage on display so everybody can take a very good look at the Macabre Mobile.
Not only that, we are going to have the very famous Red Velvet Couch, the one and only belonging to Elvira, sitting on stage, as well as her candelabras and other various props that have been through the shows over the years. Yeah, so props from the shows, props from the, the video shoots that we did. You'll see some vintage um, uh, memorabilia, uh, signature stuff. Um, from her personal collection, by the way. Yes. And you're going to see some stuff, recreations from the Elvira's Nightmare Maze from 1999. <laughs> yeah. and you're going to see Jeff. <laughs> uh, that wasn't supposed to be there yet. That wasn't supposed to be there, yeah. I think we're having a glitch there. <laughs> I think you need to be we'll, delivered we'll just to like it. Carl. I'm in! We're going to see! I'm a guitar. So we were trying to create the ultimate fan experience. Curry ultimate bad experience? Fan. Oh, fan. 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 Uh, she's always yeah, harassing me. The <laughs> <laughs> ultimate fan experience! Ultimate oh. fan experience! Oh, all right. And photo ops, of course, so, including the flat from the 2013 or 17 show, uh, also used in the Shutter TV 40th anniversary special. Don't Correct. say flats. <laughs> <laughs> There's nothing flat in this. <laughs> oh, that is the Elvira experience. <laughs> Else? Yes, and there's more. So you can go to the Elvira Experience with two X's right there at Not Scary Farm. That'll be open every night of the event. You can go PG to PG rated though. Don't the two X's are kisses. <laughs> Somebody should have told me. Yeah, the XX thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. What? I made some of the other stuff. <laughs> all right, that'll be for Is he all right? Carl, we, uh, we charge show. extra for that. But there will be three nights of Not Scary Farm where Elvira Cassandra Peterson will be there signing autographs. <laughs> An amazing meet and greet with the fans. And that'll be on opening night, September 19th, Woo! October 18th, and October 20th. Write those dates down. Get in line now. Uh, it should be amazing, right? It should be totally amazing. And I, I won't be singing and dancing now, but I will be signing. And who knows what else could happen, depending on how much I have to drink. No, I will, no, I will. There will also be a... Um, I will be meeting and greeting all the fans, and I would love to see you, especially if you were a child and you're now grown up. Bring the kids, the family, the dog, the whole, the whole crowd. How many uh, uh, tattoos have you signed? How many tattoos? I have lost count of those. I mean, just today alone, I, I don't know, maybe today a hundred? A hundred, wow. I would say, wild well, guess. Who's got an Elvira tattoo? Woo! <laughs> okay, I guess they have to stay home. Their tattoos are... No. Well, it's gonna be amazing, and it's a nice way to kick off Not Scary Farm this year, September 19th uh, in uh, Buena Park. We're gonna have Cassandra Peterson there in person at the Elvira Experience. We hope you come out. Thank you, Cassandra, for coming out and taking your time with us. Cassandra Peterson, everybody. Elvira! Elvira. All right, I'm Jeff Tucker. We have Carl, Jeff Shattuck, Ron Perez. All right, folks, have a great time. Drive safe. We'll see you later. See you in the fog, baby.